Welcome viewers, this is what did you, as what did you say, what did you do, what did you think, what did you enjoy? And today we're going to uh, have a little gameplay and grind session with Eve and uh, get some more XP and resources as well as talk about the trophies for the main game. They've released uh, some nice uh, information in regard to the trophies and you know for those that feel as though it's spoilers like just the heads up that that's what's going to be discussed uh for the most part you know i definitely want to go ahead and cover a couple of other little points too about a few particulars that i figured out as far as like lag input in the game as well as um <clears throat> the the demo glitch uh, i actually did give it a shot and try it out i actually backed up my game save and after i tried out that little glitch area i um deleted it off my system and reloaded what I you know have been doing I, I kind of felt like I was cheating the system a little bit of things uh, when I did it so um, you know I, I'm not going to do it again and just continue to enjoy you know the standard aspect of the demo and the grind therein um, you know it, it to be honest with you uh, exploring it um, you know, an aspect of what I'm doing or preparing for in regards to the main game is to gather resources as well as to, um, you know, get all my skills leveled up in the game. So we'll go ahead and start out with um, <clears throat> my grind route, the long version, and then do a, you know, excuse me, the short version. And um, I'm thinking that, you know, every so often throughout the gameplay, we'll go ahead and do. Uh, the stalker boss challenge as well to uh, break up the uh, the grind and uh, in each stalker battle I'll go ahead and feature a different uh, uh, suit outfit for Eve as well um, but yeah it's uh, the trophies are going to uh, look to be quite quite enjoyable to accomplish in the in the uh, the main game of stellar blade when it releases um, I, I think it's going to be accessible to everybody, you know, to be able to do so. I mean, one of the things that was definitely mentioned is that um, it, there's no difficulty at mode aspect to uh, accomplishing the uh, challenge, you know, the, the trophies in the game. You know, it's just basically gameplay and, uh, you know, farming all the various different aspects of what they're hoping you accomplish. Um, And, um, you know, so, you know, that's going to be real friendly for people, uh, you know, whoever decides to play the game at whatever their skill level may be. Um, you know, I, you know, of course, a lot of fans and avids, advocates for the challenge uh, want a, you know, harder difficulty mode as well as uh, trophies for um, that sort of thing. But, uh it doesn't seem like that's going to be a, something that's going to be at launch. You know, who knows? They may decide to do something like that when they come out with New Game Plus, which I hope they do in a very, very, very near future. Because um, according to the trophy list, there's three separate trophies in regard to uh, the, the game story mode. And, um, you know, it, it, yeah, it's three separate trophies because it's supposedly three separate endings. And it'll be interesting to see what all's involved with that. You know, are they trying to push you to do three complete gameplay th uh, gameplay sessions, or can you maybe, you know, have a backup for um, your your game at some point, and then backtrack to the point at which some aspect of a decision or you know game. I, game sequence happens within the game so that you can go ahead and you know without a whole bunch of to do um <clears throat> you know experience the different endings and achieve the trophies it like i said it'll be interesting to see what they decide to do and um you know <laughs> speaking of the endings i it, you know let's just mention the fact of the beginning i mean because with this demo you know, it's, it, no one has really an official word as to where you're going to start within the main game with your demo save. And I mean, that that is to me is a big concern. Um, 
you know, as well as there are people that are concerned that um, the, the game may have issues with... Um, hold on. Can I sneak up on him? Nope. Um, <clears throat> you know, registering your actions within the... from the demo game save to the trophy aspect of the game because there are trophies associated with you know doing all your camps killing a certain amount of enemies you know that sort of thing and um you know it, I, you know one of the trophies even mentions the first camp so it's like if you know the game isn't going to risk you know if they have issues with the uh main game respecting your demo that could affect the trophies but I, I can't imagine that it would. I mean, and even if it did, I would think that Shift Up would be on it pronto as far as resolving whatever that issue could be because that would definitely segregate and disappoint a massive aspect of the populace who have played the demo and are looking forward to having that game save uh, in the main game. As, you know, and of course, not interrupt their progress with trophies. So I'm not worried about that too much. And, you know, as far as um, the main game uh, having, hang on one second, let me pull up chat for uh, the, the, the broadcast here. And the aspects of the main game having um, uh, where it's going to start you, to me, that's, that's a bigger concern, you know, because if you want to enjoy the full experience of the game um you're going to have to do a combination of things like what i'm going to do if they start you at your save point or if they start you after the abanon boss battle which which is quite possible um <clears throat> after sneak peeking into the uh, little glitched area which is right behind uh and you know sort of after the ball the abaddon boss battle at that in the parking um, tower so um <clears throat> if uh they do start us there like i said in my previous broadcast i'm going to go ahead and you know make sure my my demo game save is backed up and you know restart stellar blade because you know i would start it of course to see where the demo picks me up at and then um uh just start you know the 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 main game camp pain um up you know and take it all the way to the point of uh hold on let me get this guy with this stealth kill because it's not easy sometimes oh what what? What? I got denied! Oh my goodness. Anyway, so I got I took care of that well enough. Um <clears throat> but yeah, I'll go ahead and just play the main campaign straight through and um to where the demo game save picks you up and then delete the main game save and start um you know re-download my demo game save start the main game again and you know pick up with all my xp and all my resources because what's interesting is that taking that sneak peek into Shit, i'm messing up my stealth thing talking um <clears throat> picking up the main game where uh, i mean excuse me testing out the demo um hang on i'm not really focused with this let me just let him go so i can still kill it <clears throat> picking up the main game after you know where the demo progress has you uh and like i said that the, the glitched area picks you up at that point in that in the area that you'll be in if that's where the main game starts you um you know, I got to realize that, you know, because you get some access to some upgrades and diff various different things like that. Um, things are going to be expensive as far as resources, um, for sure. You know, and that's the reason why I'm glad I, I when I go through my, my grind sessions, it's not just about the XP and it's not just about the gold. It's also, too, about the resources that... 
um, you know, are to be had in the, the crates and, um, you know, the little statues that you see in the environment. So, um, you know, it, it, I mean, like I said, this, this episode of, of the grind session will have some spoilers, but like I said, it, um, just after, off of what I have accumulated so far, and take a look at that real quick, uh, you know, as far as your materials are concerned, I had enough for one for the upgrade that was available, but then, you know, the upgrades that you get for Eve's equipment, like the exospine and, 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 and gear and such, etc., they have levels to them. And, you know, you you can level it up past, you know, one, two, three, which seems to be the case for what I did see. And I'm sure that, um, you know, there may be other items that have a higher quality. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see what I ha when the main game comes available. But um, either way, it's going to be expensive, you know, and, you know, there's going to be opportunities through the game to gain more resources, of course. And um, I'm sure there'll probably be some areas which might be even more productive or lucrative as far as farming but you know you know I've seen some things out there where people were farming um, the, the glitched area or the area that will be available when the main game comes out after this in that parking tower and um, to be honest with you you know the enemies that are there you come across some new types of enemies as well uh, it, it, it's not as efficient or easy, in my opinion, if you were to try to farm it. I mean, I, I mean, uh, you know, though you have some bigger enemies and, and um, you know, some of the XP is a little bit more uh, lucrative in that aspect, you know, the nature of the uh, resources you get in crates and things like that isn't any different than what you have here. And as far as this RNG is concerned, um, and then to, you know, as the game progresses, what it looks like, we're going to be just inundated more with uh, more enemies. So, you know, it, it, and, you know, with Eve's combat system, the way it's set up, it is not the easiest thing to want to deal with when you have groups of enemies surrounding you and... You know, I, I talked about that in my last broadcast as far as my tips on combat is concerned. Um, and, ouch, did not block that. What is going on here with my block? What's up with this? Um, <clears throat> and, you know... Depending on how you want to wait or experience the game in regard to, you know, get gaining resources or acquiring items, you know, you may decide you want to farm things at some point in time. And I'm telling you, this first part of the game has got to be the easiest aspect to want to go ahead and farm and stock up on things, um, especially considering the random uh, generation of, of, of resources and crates and what have you. But... Um, you know, the trophies, they're going to have uh, stuff for crate opening and, and collecting various different things. There's going to be a huge list of collecting, um, you know, things in the environment. I'm trying not to give too many spoilers away so that this can still be enjoyable for those that don't want a heavy spoiler situation. Um, but, you know, it's... Um, you know, it's going to be important to explore and, you know, don't miss any kind of cracks um, because that's part of what they want you to do uh, as far as accomplishing various different trophies and things. I mean, they want you, you know, like they spend all this time developing the game and um, getting all these graphics together. They want to make sure that, you know, people are uh, appreciating their work. <laughs> Ouch. Got my 
my hand, hands on the, on the block here. So, you know, and um, accomplishing various different missions and tasks, you know, are going to be there in the trophies. And it, it's pretty cool, but it seems like we might even have an opportunity to play some other characters. Like I said, I'm not going to name the point of uh, what was... Uh, what they did mention i mean the information is out there but if anybody jumps in chat and wants to discuss some of it you know by fight by, by all means please jump in and if you know you don't mind uh further elements of spoilers with this, considering my consideration to not do so that much um we'll engage in the conversation for sure uh but yeah it's um it's going to look to be something that you know definitely you can spend some time with um but if, you know, the, the trophy aspect that has to do with the three different endings has anything to do with possibly restarting the game from, from scratch or something like that, they've got to definitely come up, come on out with this new game plus uh, before too long because it's going to be rather um, a grueling process, in my opinion, to have to replay this whole game from scratch. It, you know it because I mean Eve Eve's capabilities I mean and her um, her skill you know her skill tree and the various different equipment to get I, I mean, I'm telling you I can see that's going to be exceptionally necessary and you know maybe you could go ahead and do some quick playthroughs from scratch all the you know each time with just her uh, uh, what am I going to say here with just the on the story mode uh, versus the, the normal difficulty um, you know just for the sake of the ending just for the sake of the trophy I, that might be okay to a degree but even playing the story mode which I did to begin with before switching to the normal mode um, you know it has its challenges you know to that degree too but depending on your skill level uh, you, you would I'm thinking you're still going to need you know, to be upgraded uh, on, on things, um, rather than, you know, grueling your way through the game, um, you know, not, not having various different skills or, or various different equipment, because, you know, you're starting from scratch and you're just rushing through the game, um, to get, uh, to the ending. I mean, it may be possible, but, you know, I'm sure, probably sure that it is, but yeah, I, I, I don't know, that doesn't seem like much fun to me. Uh, I would, um, but so depending on how they decide to have uh, these trophies set up with the accomplishment of them uh, in regard to the story endings, I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, I, I may just wait till the new game plus comes out if you have to kind of start from scratch for the endings. But if, you, if it just requires an element of a backup uh, save, and, you know, depending on how they have your game save files, hopefully you can actually have multiple game save files for your game. And you can just go back to that particular game save file because, you know, the benefit of the PlayStation Cloud with backing up your game saves is that, um, you know, it, just in case you have any issues with memory loss uh, or, or, you know, a system issue... Uh, you can go back to you know your previous save, but it, do it doesn't allow you to have multiple game saves for any particular title. And you know, depending on how they have these endings set up for the trophies, you wouldn't want to have to not save your game or not back up your game save from for some ex extended period of time um, to reach the ending. You know, in order to say go back and uh, do whatever you need to do to to get the endings so you know it's, it's definitely going to be interesting to see what's going to be in store uh, for us when it comes to you know those particulars but yeah I'm, I'm like I said the only thing I, I'm like I said a little not necessarily concerned but just curious about as far as where they're going to start us with um, this demo save
so you know time will tell on that but um, you know definitely when I did my little um, combat tips video yes the other day oh man uh, I mentioned you know elements about Eve's combat system and how you know switching to an eight finger grip and you know getting a different controller was the thing for me and definitely uh it's definitely going to be a good thing to do um for me anyway in regard to the difficulty level with the way the game's going to give you know present enemies to you um but it does seem like there will be well, at least from what I could tell from that little glitched area despite the amount of enemies and the different types of enemies that are spawned because you know this first part of the demo kind of has things pretty isolated where though there was other you know different types of enemies near other enemy types unless you bring the other enemy to um uh hang on <clears throat> Where, the, like, for example, they had the, the creepers over there next to these slashers. Unless you bring the slashers over to the creepers or the creepers over to the slashers, it's not likely they're going. you're going to be attacked by those two different types of enemies. But further on in the game, that is not going to be the case. And, I mean, it's no telling how difficult that's going to be. So, you know, you have respecting the limitations, so to speak, that they give with Eve in regard to her not being able to block in any, in multiple directions, uh quickly you know well i mean you can if just switching around with the right analog stick but you know you can't attack and block at the same time um or you know efficiently in my opinion unless you're using something more than a, a four finger grip on the controller and um you have you know your buttons remapped in order to use the right analog stick and um be able to engage with your light and your heavy attack so <clears throat> it will be interesting to see what what's going to happen with all that um you know but like i said it i i'm glad i did the switch on, on the controller thing and it, it seems to be going well still you know working out the kinks as far as uh, making sure i don't press the wrong button sometimes but um it, you know because of the way i map oh gosh because of the way i mapped everything <clears throat> i don't, it doesn't seem to be a problem <clears throat> so because like i said i still have you know like the, the back two buttons on this PlayStation Edge controller are mapped for how did this thing see me? I swear that thing has infinite sight damn near. Um <clears throat> you know I, I set up my my R1 button underneath of my L1 button and my L2 button on the left back pad and R2 button on the on the right. So is it facing me? so difficult to tell whether the uh this hy hydra i think that's what they call it the hydra um is facing you or not <clears throat> let me see uh what am i doing is oh data bank that's where it's at let's see just want to make sure i get the name of this enemy correct yeah the hydra so um trying to think here take a quick look at, at this trophy situation was there because i'm not going to go through the whole list of things because it's <coughs> i mean not necessarily monotonous or or, or or trivial um but unless anyone jumps in chat and decides to want to talk about a point I, i'm not going to necessarily go there but i'll let you know this there are, there are a good amount of bosses to defeat in regard to the trophies which is nice to know um you know, though there's a good amount of them, I'm surprised there almost is, isn't more. Um, but, you know, take what you... Ah, yeah. 
How are they seeing me like this? Oh my goodness. Did they give an update to the game or something? <laughs> or the demo? <laughs> oh man. Go on about your business. Okay. Yeah, it's just... It just saves much more time to just go ahead and stealth kill these things. Um... But yeah, I, I knew I do another point too. I'm hoping that uh, I can figure out is whether or not there's a bug with the whole um, blink ability. Because like I was commenting yesterday in my my gameplay against the stalker, because uh, you know I added the stalks and stalker battles too at the end of that broadcast. Um. Blink actually responds differently than it does in the main game against uh, the enemies, uh, the Guardians, for example. Because right now, um, I'm trying to think, I think the Guardians are about the only ones. No, the little crab things. The um, yeah, I got reference to the chart again because I don't, I don't like uh, not stating the name of these things properly. Let's see here. So yeah, these, these here, the barnacle will give the blue flash for the uh, blink ability to activate as well as the guardians and the heavy guardians um, but yeah it responded different it responds differently than um, you know as far as fighting stalker versus the way the the demo gameplay has you uh, because I every time that I had an opportunity to successfully do the blink ability against the stalker um, I, I had two cues. His her weapon would flash twice, and she would not blink on the first go of it. It would it would be the second flash on her weapon where that she would actually initiate the blink. And what's interesting too is that if you did not do something to cue that second animation of the the blue cue for on her weapon, um like for example step back uh move forward if you just sort of stand still the way that it seems to be a little better to activate the blink in the demo and then when you see her weapon flash uh you know blue or in the case with uh repulse uh purple pink however you might regard that color um you know that's when you do the the, the uh, your blink ability but against the stalker, now now the repulse works right. It works okay, you know the way you, way it is in the uh, the training sessions and in the skill tree here. But the blink doesn't work that way. The blink, you like I said, it cues itself twice in some weird way. So from what I understand, there's supposed to be a day one patch for the uh, for the main game. And I feel like this demo is definitely a cross section from that. So hopefully, if that is an issue, uh, or maybe it's something, to, maybe they intended it to be that way, they'll resolve the point with that. Whoa, okay. Um, resolve that point with the with the patch. Um, but yeah, I mean, when I do, when I fight the stalker, we'll, we'll go ahead and do a stalker fight after this uh, this run here. Um, you know, you'll see what I'm talking about. But yeah, each time I do the stalker fights, I'll go ahead and uh, put on a little different outfit for Eve to enjoy the different suits that they allow you, or skin uh, outfits. I think they referred them to like this skin suit. I think is the only one that they refer to as a suit. The rest of them they kind of refer to as an outfit. Um, but yeah, also too with getting the deluxe edition, I'm looking forward to... Uh, being able to use the outfits that you get with the pre-order as well as the deluxe edition. Um, you know, right off the bat as soon as I can. Um, you know, it's nothing wrong with the skin suit, but you don't have any shield and... You know her standard, um, uh, her standard suit of the uh, seventh generation planet diving 
is uh, cool enough. Um, you know, it's, it's an interesting schoolgirl element to it. Uh, you know, we've I've played with it a good bit in the demo. Oh man! And you know, it's the only suit option you have in the training, uh, which you know, it's a little unfortunate, but I get it. Um, I get do my counter. Like my time is a little off on my block, but um, and speaking of which, came across some interesting information about the developer addressing a few people's issues with latency in the gameplay, and you know I d I have noticed that as well myself, um, especially when dealing with. Um, you know any of the game modes uh, as far as you know their their performance mode let me see what are the options here uh do, 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 do. let's see here accessibility I'm trying to see here where they have their yeah no not that not it hang on where is that information? Where is it? It's where you can actually change your graphics mode. Uh, where is that? This might be up in gameplay. Oh, did I go past it too fast? Display. Oh, here it is. So you have graphics mode, and you have balance mode, and you have uh, performance mode. I've been running it on resolution mode because, to be honest with you, I, I just really like the, the, you know, how clear and crisp she looks. But when I go to balance mode or, or the performance mode, her face starts to look blurry. Um, everything's not as crisp. I remember when I first started playing the game, I almost couldn't tell the difference, um, but I could feel the difference in the way of the gameplay. But um, what I've done is number one, put my system game system to on performance and um did i not do my save to reset i've put my game system on performance and it's interesting what what ps5 system says when you do that is that it's going to do that for whatever game you play you, you can set it to be you know um game oriented where the game will decide for you or you can have the system decide how your apps are going to run or your games are going to run uh be it on um performance or graphics mode high you know high graphics and i know that when i was testing it out with stellar blade um setting my system on performance and the game on performance yeah everything ran you know at its you know a higher frame rate uh but again the quality of the image just was was not not the best I, I i just felt like it was hindering my enjoyment of the game but um when i uh <clears throat> switched it to graphics mode you know um and played the game on graphics mode like that uh to me it felt like i was dealing with a lot of um oh hang on a lot of sort of say I don't know if it was just clunkiness or stuttering per se in the way of the animations when things would get going it's like uh, because it was run you know it runs at 30 frames per second it just looked choppy you know at various different aspects when she would jump or come across various different elements in the environment and it's still a little bit of element to that but it's not to me a, a big deal but taking my put my system on performance mode so it's going to run at a higher you know at least try to run the game at a higher frame rate and then setting stellar blade to um the graphics mode uh worked out for me in my opinion it, it you know it stopped being a sort of choppy or stuttery with the animations and but yet i still had the clarity of the image and then to, to also to help with the uh latency of things like i said i believe the developers came out with, with an article where they stated to put your tv on 
um, gaming, whatever game mode or gaming mode you may have for your TV, uh, and, you know, for it to kind of do things in a way where you're not going to have, uh, you know, as much frame rate drops. It, it's going to cue itself for the performance of uh, video games versus just watching TV. And I did that for myself as well, and I feel like I've noticed a difference. And also, too, I, uh, I used a direct connect and disabled the USB connection for my PlayStation controller so that it's just, you know, having a direct connect with the cable. And, um, you know, so I noticed a, a, a definite degree of, uh, ready, you know, more direct and responsive inputs if, as well on the controller. So, um, you know, tips for those that, that out there that are having issues with what they may feel is latency or game lag or input lag um, you know do a direct connect with your cable uh, change your TV to uh, game uh, the game mode or and um, also too they mentioned uh, in a couple of blogs that I noticed uh, we'll just check this in couple of blogs that I noticed that they mentioned that we'll see what's the name of this setting it's a setting within the PlayStation 5 that um, it's called the HDCP it's for um, basically certain apps like YouTube or Twitch or whatever so certain licensing doesn't get violated and what have you but I don't really engage with any of that um, and even when I do or if I do it's very rarely so I can just switch the setting back but supposedly that can improve uh, the nature of the um, of your gameplay as far as latency is concerned if you disable that excuse me HDCP setting um, so you know for those that are having issues hopefully that can help and there are you know some articles out there which uh, reinforce that point so yeah, let's go ahead and add in a little Starker battle in between the grind session and I guess we'll go ahead and just take our outfits in order um, you know the first one on the list here is the racers high outfit uh, I, this is just super sexy super sweet I am surprised with the game with the amount of undercarriage they're showing on her but um, it, you know very sleek it's very sleek design on this outfit for sure and yeah, we'll go with no glasses this time around keep the melee protection gear on that seems to work for me and then we'll add um, the protection gear and uh, but yeah what you see here is essentially the the um, opening for what you get when you go through the, the the next section in the game you'll get another gear slot and um an exospine that you can level up but like i said leveling up these exospines at level three the way you see them here is expensive it's expensive i didn't have enough to level up past level you know like you get it at level one and i was able to level up to the level two but it's expensive and you know there's trophies associated with you know leveling up your exospines and your gear and uh, I think I think they call E Sword the Blood Blood Edge. I believe that's what how uh, what the name of it is. So you know, and I, I hope they give us a different look to the Blood Edge too, or at least when we upgrade it, it, it changes the look of it. Because I mean, though it's cool, it's it's not bad in its styling, and I I, I swear it is just awesome the way it is. You know, it sheaths into a, a hairpiece for her, um, and you know. I don't want to give too many spoilers, but yeah, it 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 does other things too <laughs> that you get to find out in the um, you know next section after the demo, you know, which which people can access through that little glitch. But yeah, you want to take care with it, back up your game save if you do such a thing, and um, Oh shoot, whoa, 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 hit the wrong button. I'm, I'm, no, I don't have my fingers under me. Um, hang on. 
here. Let me focus. Oh, come on. Focus a little bit. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I hold on. I don't think I'm gonna save conversation till after <laughs> when I do the grind because I can't. I, I I'm I'm not that good yet to be able to uh, deal with the stalker and jibber jabber. Um, not in a way that doesn't reflect whatever's going on. Damn, you got that kind of reach? Let's see. forward to when the main game comes out. It's definitely something that I'm not, I, I, I don't feel like I want to rush through for sure. And um, like I said, even in private, I'm not going to do the glitch again. Wow, really? See, that's that that issue again with the blink. I'm sitting there initiating it, and she doesn't even do it because, like I said, when you see the blue flash on the stalker, you need to go ahead and start initiating the blink. Or if you don't do something like uh, in regard to trying to initiate it, he will just hit you anyway. I mean, he'll just grab you, it, you know, it, unless you're out of range. Yeah, that is just so awkward for me, man. The inconsistency with the nature of this blink uh, between the enemies, and it may be purposeful. You know, I, I'm really not sure, but you know, when the main game comes out, we'll we'll know then. Um, but yeah, it's too bad we don't get anything for these stalker fights. I, I say that again, man. Uh, but yeah, still enjoyable though. And like I said, it's it's about the only thing to do without trying to sh go forward in in with that glitch thing to sort of practice. Uh, a good bit of the move sets in regard to the enemy's um, attacks. I mean, there's the training, but you know, it's 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 definitely not the same. You know, as as far as this game is concerned, uh, as far as well, you know, the actual gameplay of it. You know, thus the fact that it's training. Oh, I see somebody chiming in on the chat. My bad. Uh, hiya, what's happening? We talked about the trophies already, I guess. No, we're still talking about the trophies. It's all good. Um, 
you know, I, I didn't go into a whole lot of detail because I wasn't sure just how much people might decide to want to have spoilers or, or not. And it's okay, I mean, in my opinion, because the information that's out there about the trophies, to me it's not really spoilers, but some people get really twitchy <laughs> over the nature of what they may feel is a spoiler. But, um, you know, I just covered a few particular bases as far as, uh, you know, the different endings that we'll have. And, um, you know, the various different accomplishments and the fact that it's going to be real friendly for people to be able to accomplish, um, you know, getting the trophies, you know, because it doesn't have any game setting, uh, game difficulty setting in regard to that. So, um, but yeah, what, what was on your mind there? Let's see if I can pronounce your name right. Mm. Sienkinsu? <laughs> 77 I'm gonna call you 77 if you don't mind <laughs> um but yeah 77 is it something that you were thinking on in regard to the trophies have you seen the any of the articles or seen any of the YouTube um news updates in regard to it or are you looking forward to any nature of the trophies but yeah I'll, I'll check back if Oh, Kinsu. Okay, bet. Kinsu. All right, I got it. Nice. But yeah, Kinsu, is, um, did you have any thoughts towards the tro trophy accomplishments, or did you want to know some information? Because I have the article up. I can go ahead and uh, read some things to you if you like. You said the big spoiler being the uh, tacky move. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, I did a slight mention about that early. I was like, you get to... It looks like we potentially get to play with another character. I, I, I'm I'm wondering just what that involves. I mean, to me, it's not much of a spoiler because if you let's see here, where is it at? If you, hold on, there's a point here in the in the menu here. Oh no 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 no! It's at it's. Let me let me go to the camp. I'll show you <coughs> where. It looks like you can equip gear and, or or level up uh, various different other characters. Um, besides just your your own weapons and what have you, and I figured that by looking at that, we would have an opportunity to go ahead and play other characters. So yeah, let me see where is it at here. Um, oh, I think it's at the main camp. I think it's at the main camp. Okay, well, definitely, I, damn, actually, I want to see that now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just run back here real quick so I can show you what I'm talking about because I haven't even referenced it in a second. Um, but yeah, you get, to me, it's not much of a spoiler. I, I feel you, though, as far as people maybe being ignorant to what the demo has kind of sneak, sneak peeked you at or, you know, if they ignored the point and uh, just want to be surprised, but... I mean, come on now. You, you're not seeing anything, you know, number one. And um, <clears throat> so, it's you know, you, you don't know the exact nature of it. Uh, but, yeah, let's see. Where's, I think it's in, is it in the Paraconsole. I'm trying to remember where I saw that information. Yeah, yeah. See how it says Eve at the top right? And then you have an R1 and an L1. Well, you can press L1 and R1 all day and it doesn't change anything. So I'm sitting there going, dude, I think you can upgrade somebody else or, you know, or something else in the game. He said, I've been following the Happy Dad YouTube channel. He's been giving lore speculations and other dives. Let's see. Tacky had some deep stuff in previous trailers. He already expected Tacky mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen some of that, too. Yeah, he's a good catch. Yeah, 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 for sure. With this R1, L1, for sure, no doubt. I was like, okay. It looks like we get to upgrade some other stuff. Because like I said, I'm pressing L1 uh, and R1 right now. And it's not doing anything. And it doesn't affect changing this. So I'm like, okay, okay. We're going to have some goodies to upgrade here. Some, uh, some folks. And I'm trying to remember if there's something in here too. I don't think there is. Uh, let's see here. Was it in data bank? Characters? No. 
and all oh yeah oh that's what it was when i looked at the um the image for the um let, let me go ahead and reset it and take the benefit of the extra resources and uh xp from the enemy and gold um <clears throat> when i looked at the image for the uh and saw the list out of goodies you get when you get the deluxe edition for the game and i of course you know i had to go there for that uh you get different outfit selections for um adam and and i think lily is that what they calling her i you know you know heavy heavy christian um biblical undertones with you know eve being called eve and adam being adam and then lily short for lilith but yeah you get outfit selections for these characters and so i'm guessing there's going to be some way to go ahead and select that unless the game just automatically loads you with those outfit options but it would be a shame if they do do that because you know what if you want to go with the standard look of the characters for, for um rather than uh yeah lily no doubt um uh having the the you know, you mix and match whatever you might want in regard to um, whether you not you want to go with the uh, deluxe edition outfits or the standard edition outfits or you know, like I said, mix and match. Maybe you want Lily to have the the new deluxe uh, outfit and Adam keep his standard standard look. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, like I said, I had a feeling that. Probably more than one character you we might be able to go ahead and enjoy. Um, but I do hope that, because you know, in the in the uh, the trophies, I, I did mention this a little bit earlier that you have to upgrade various different gear and especially her weapon. Uh, I believe they referenced it as the blood blood edge. I was wondering what this weapon was called because there's no data entry about it, and hopefully we'll get some more info. But the fact that this sword sheaths itself as a hair clip that to me is just dope that is just really cool and um hope but hopefully we get some different looks for it because i mean it's cool and all definitely in the fact of how you use it and you know i i didn't go into exactly what it does or what goes on but you can do other things with it because like i said i i did a little sneak peek at that glitched area just to see what was up i i didn't you know broadcast or anything and I deleted the save and then reloaded my backup of my uh, my normal demo gameplay. But yeah, you can do different stuff with this sword besides just swinging it around. Either way, I hope we get some different looks to the weapon. Um, because one of the trophies is for upgrading uh, the weapon as well as the other, other gear. Yeah, yeah. Not sure either about the whole Lily and Adam thing. Um... But it, you know, it is interesting that we have outfit options for these two characters, or at least it seems like we have the option with the deluxe edition. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Woo! <laughs> I missed the key for that. Um, and because of that, uh, those outfit options, I, um, I, I, like I said, I'm wondering, will it be an aspect of being able to play these characters? Or upgrade them, like I said, as you saw in the um, the console kiosk, you have this L1 and R1 option as far as upgrading things. And I know, you know, like I said, I note that in the um, why am I messing up my cues here? Because um, I'm talking at the same time. And I noticed that in in the hold on. Focus on this for a second. Okay, I'm, I'm not doing too good with this for a second. I'm not, like I said, my brain is trying to process this new information about all the, um, the trophy stuff. Uh, and, I, and I lost my train of thought on things, but yeah, I was, I was talking about uh, playing the different characters. Like I said, you, have, you get to upgrade the different gear. Maybe that L1 and R1 button is just for upgrading your sword and, and the, um, I don't think they have a reference for the name of it in this. Uh, the drone that flies around that Adam communicates with, with you. 
I believe you get to upgrade that to, uh, let's see here. How do they reference it in this trophy list here? So yeah, you got the blood edge, you have your exospines that level up. Um, all the different collections that you have. Uh, let's look at something nice while I'm, I'm looking at this, looking this up here. Uh, you, do, you know, of course you gotta get all your nano suits. The tumbler, that's the name of that thing. <clears throat> um, yeah, this little thing flying around with you is the t it's called a tumbler. So maybe that R1 L1 is for upgrading the top tumbler, or maybe it has something to do with you know tacky, um, taki. Uh, that's probably I believe that's how it's pronounced. Um, but yeah, Taki sword is super dope, and that's why I was thinking like, man, do we get a, we get to upgrade our sword and change the look of it, or have an option for that? Because uh, you know, you know, her sword, though, you know, though is sweet and how it goes into a hair clip. Um, you know, Taki sword is is uh, it's badass. But um, I don't know why when it, some of her some of her move sets with her weapon reminds me of Voltron for some reason. Form blazing sword. But um, yeah, this is definitely gonna be something that I'll go ahead and platinum. You know, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Just make sure you don't miss any nooks and crannies when it comes to collecting things. But, you know, with it being fairly linear in the way that it is, it, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I mean, even with the verticality, with the climbing, you know, things are, are pretty clear and marked as far as what you can and can't go up to. And then when you hit your scan... Um, you know, there's always something, it seems like, in the direction of where you can go ahead and explore. Uh, that's... Available for you. <clears throat> my timing's a little... My, my button cues are a little off. Like I said, I, I did some steps to improve the latency of the game, and my button input is even faster than what it ever has been. You know, I did direct cable connect with the controller... I turned off um, the, what was it called, the HDCP setting in the PlayStation and changed my game to graphics mode, gaming mode, and my input is far faster. He said, I think everything will be open to explore throughout, even going back to the beginning. Yeah, I think so too. Um, now, that, that's the issue too that has been you know concerning me and concerning others when it comes to the demo and utilizing the game save data just how just where will they start us with this game save information you know because they haven't released any official word about that and um you know so everybody commenting on including myself it's really just speculation i mean to me it seems logical that it's going to be at our last demo game save you know or at the end of the um, Abaddon boss battle because another weird thing is they don't tell you that the Abaddon boss battle is the last thing you need to do until after you defeat the Abaddon boss and even then it may be interpreted a little vaguely because it goes you need to defeat the final boss in order for have your game save data transfer to the main game and you know and then at the bottom you know, once you clear that little watermark screen with that with that message, you see Stalker, um, you know, or Boss Challenge. And so, like, when I first played it and it, you know, ended me at after the Abaddon boss and I was all disappointed because I couldn't continue to grind without starting a new game save. Um, I, uh, I, I I kind of interpreted that watermark is, OK, I have to defeat Abaddon, um, the Stalker. In order to have the game save data transfer. But that's not true. That's not the case. You have to defeat Abaddon. Which you do. Prior to receiving that message. So again with the whole where they're going to have a start. It could definitely be. At the end of the Abaddon boss battle. Or at our last game save point. At whatever camp that we last saved our demo at. Um, I mean. 
because I don't know if they're going to be as friendly as we'd like them to be and just have a start at the beach. You know, that would be super fantastic. I mean, why not? You got your skills, you have whatever you, you have. But I mean, it might not make sense as far as how deep you want to go into immersion as far as her resources that she collected. Uh, but whatever, you know what I mean? Just go ahead and, and give it to you like that. Um, some people have speculated they may start you at the beginning and um, refund your your skill points. It'd just be sitting at, you know, those points would be sitting in your skill tree and you just have to reassign them. Um, and, you know, yet again, you still keep your gold and your resources because a lot of people, I'm telling you, they, they are, I think they're missing out because a lot of people just grind this and go after the enemies and see the gold drop and they're all happy and giddy. But you don't want to miss out on the fact that you get free high concentrated potions, lingering potions, uh, because those are expensive. They cost gold at the machines. You get, you know, advanced nano, extreme polymer, advanced. Those things are used for your upgrades when it comes to your exospines and things like that. And it's costly once you get past level one. Um, and of course, you get the, the Vitcoin, which is used at the vendors. Uh, as it says here in Zion, who knows how much that stuff is. But yeah, they may start us at the beginning or allow us to access it. That would be awesome if they do. You said right now I'm thinking the one inaccessible password chest is going to be from someone who's on. Yeah, definitely. I agree with you on that for sure. For sure. I know I, I agree with you. We should be at least go back to this point in the game. Um, the first time you get to Zion will probably be when you get the password for it. Possibly, most likely, sounds about right. You probably cannot access the landing spot anymore. That was simply for prologue. The rest is, seems open for exploration. Yeah, yeah, I get you where she crash land. Um, yeah, I get your point on that. It, but then again, there could be, excuse me, some beach segment uh, within uh, the gameplay. It would be nice if they did because, I mean, they spent a whole lot of time rendering that and you know and, and doing that for the game it would be a shame that it's only available to you uh just for those few moments uh when you first jump into the game and you get to see the city off in the background and everything so i'd like to think that we'll be able to go back to that beach um you know later on it would be a shame again uh because you know the scenery and everything i, I was just getting goosebumps man when, when the game opened up uh so, we'll see. We'll see, definitely. We, you know, definitely good questions. Um, but, you know, less than 10 days away. Uh, and I'm all about uh, getting my gameplay on par. Because, as I said in my other videos, the nature of this game and the mechanics and its combat system... I've never really played a game quite like it uh, in the way that certain notions of it are a little limiting versus the freeform combat um, that you may have with, say, Warframe. And even the combat that you had with, uh, I had more recently with, um, in relationship to this type of combat was, uh, I guess it would be uh, For Honor. But there's a whole different bag even with the game For Honor um, uh, than this. Uh, and I, I've never really played the Bloodborne Souls Soul like games. I, I did, I did play the demo of a, I think it was Neo or something like that. One of those types of games, um, you know. And it had, it had its elements of limitations a little bit the way Eve's combat system has, but it was still different. I, when I played it, I didn't feel like I needed to get another controller and remap my buttons the way I have with oh wow with Eve uh with Stella Blade okay time is off on that um and you know like I said I had to I had to, had to invest in a new new controller for sure but I think it's going to save me some money in the long run I, I I went and got the PlayStation Edge and it's you know I've replaced at least um, I guess, yeah, two controllers, and I had to, you know, the, the one, one the PlayStation 5 came with, I bought a second one, both of those had uh, drift eventually, 
And the third one I got back in like November or something like that. That seems to be decent. It's the, I guess, a more recent generation of it. But, you know, so I got a backup in case anything weird happens. And I have a warranty as well for this controller. Uh, did I do that? Did I? Actually, let me run back down. You know, the way I do my grind circuit is I start from the beginning, come back, um, and then do, you know, this section of it again, and um, to try to maximize just location potential, and uh, the fact that this particular session gives you a little bit more percentages on, you know, of XP because of the nature of the, the difficulty of the enemies. Wow. Okay mess that up yeah if you don't that's another thing too with this repulse if you don't do the right thing when you see the cue from the enemy you will not get the cue on your weapon uh, your weapon is going to flash whatever color uh cue happens from the enemy blue in the case of of, of um, blink pink purple however you might want to look at that color for the case of repulse if you're not doing the right thing or you're not in the right position, ooh, I'm all over the place, uh, to do either blink or repulse, your weapon will not flash at all. And it, it but yet the enemy has the ability and is within range to grab you and, 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 and smash you all over the place. It, it kind of bugs me out. Uh, we'll see. He said, still no PS5 here, possibly summer, but already pre-ordered um, my JP copy of this. Wow, wow, okay, yeah, man, uh, I feel you. Uh, good motivation for, for looking forward to the PlayStation 5. And I mean, gosh, you, you're, <laughs> oh man, you're going to be, you're, you're definitely ex exhibiting a good degree of patience. Um, you know spectating and, and and coming to know all this information about what you what you're looking forward to enjoy um it's uh yeah I, I waited a good bit for well a little bit for my playstation 5 as well um simply because the supply and demand was just just ridiculous i mean and then everybody hoarding uh you know new ones that to, to, to sell them for more money it, you know it's damn near criminal um what was going on with all that but you know thing is is that i mean with you waiting to get your playstation 5 should definitely be cheaper than most everybody who's bought it because you know there's way more talk now and, and um about the playstation pro coming out possibly uh you know in late this year or, to, or sometime early next year but i'll be honest with you if you I wouldn't worry about it, you know, as far as like, well, should I just wait to get the PlayStation Pro? Nah, I, 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 I don't see that's real necessary unless you want the latest greatest in the way that it's presenting itself with its, um, its processing power for ray tracing. Ray tracing only. It's, it's, it's like how many games out here are really taking advantage of the software? I mean, as it is, there's not a lot of games taking advantage of the software for um what's here you know as far as what playstation 5 has to offer um in my opinion you know it, you know it, so like this game here despite how good it looks there's no ray tracing there's no ray tracing in this at all have i played can I, no i've seen uh gameplay of it uh what, what 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 brought that to mind was it um it's graphics or processing ability in relationship to Toy Fish from 5. <clears throat> but yeah, it did look like it was an enjoyable game. I had considered it. Um, but, it, you know, it's difficult enough with life's, uh, things in life and as well as trying to enjoy three game titles because I still mess with, uh, Spider-Man 2, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Warframe, and, and now this. Um, he said, I've been struggling at the first major boss. Can't get the parry timing right ever. Too early or too late. Yeah. Well, yeah, look into uh, what I was re re uh, suggesting and regarding in regard to Stellar Blade. You know, make, you know, get a direct cable connect to your console. 
um, as well as see if your TV has a, a gaming mode setting. And I'm not sure about uh, your version of PlayStation, whether or not it has uh, this, what do they call it again? <clears throat> a, hold on. Pull this up real quick. HDCP. H is in Howard, D is in David, C is in Cat, P is in Paul. HDCP setting. But supposedly this setting has something to do with copyright protections and what have you um, with certain apps like YouTube and Twitch uh, where <clears throat> uh, it can affect your latency. Wow. Uh, and um, I've never seen this enemy do that move right off the bat like that. I wonder if it's just seriously just random or did they do a update to the demo? <laughs> put in, I'm surprised they have to actually put in a patch for that that glitch that people are able to sort of take advantage of. But yeah, take a look at those kind of settings um, in regard to your gameplay and see if that may actually help with um, your timing. I thought he was about to grab me. I guess I interrupted his uh, his grab for when I should have did the blink. Um, so yeah, uh, like I said, look into that for yourself. See if that may help with your, your, your button inputs. But yeah, getting the timing right for various different things can be a challenge. I know that with Stellar Blade, it definitely has its, its challenges because it's, it's certain points. It's not too bad. It's not. Luckily, the combinations in the game and the button inputs aren't over the top. Like, at least for me, anyway. Like when I when I played Injustice and all the different directional cues and button cues you had to put in, it was just like, are you kidding? Like, who? Hats off to whoever can keep up with that. And. Um, you know, games like Mortal Kombat, if you really want to be effective at it, there's a good amount of button input as well as timing that you need to have with those inputs and as well as dealing with the enemies and juggling them and keeping them, um, you know, off balance. But, you know, luckily with Stellar Blade, it seems like it doesn't go much pa further than past things like this Rush Chain 2 where you have to do triangle, forward, triangle, plus circle. The only catch is that, like, if you can see in their animation in the left there... You've got to time that triangle circle per button cue when her weapon makes contact with the enemy. You just can't input it, the button uh, combination and it happens for you. Now what's nice is that you can actually input the forward direction the whole time. It will respect that. But the, the you know, hitting the, um, the triangle circle aspect, you have to be well timed with that. Um, you know, you just can't button mash it, you know, and the rest of her combinations are, are similar, whereas, um, you know, it, it like, you may have a triangle hold or a, cer or a square hold, and the con the context for that move only happens in relationship to the initiation of the combo. Let's see, no, no, no. Let me check what see what you what you're saying here for a second. Give us something nice to look at while I'm reading this. You said um, I feel the devs expected people to glitch through at some point. There's far too much loaded into the extra area. Plus they technically in that portion at the same timing as the bot Avenue. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm with you on there. Or, or either they had a let, late executive decision and decided to cut the demo short. You know and um, but because of the way the game is programmed and the way, you know, it's part of the level. So it's like it would be too difficult to take that information out from from it. Just limit you with um, you start the Avanon boss and then it cuts you off. And they just hoped and prayed nobody figured out how to glitch through the wall. Um, but yeah, I mean, 
what's interesting is that with that glitch, if that's part of the main game, I'm wondering is it possible to actually bypass the Abaddon boss fight and actually go to the next section of the game? It might be possible, but bear in mind, if so, you will limit yourself in regard to the trophies because, you know, the Abaddon boss by, battle is a, a part of the trophies that you receive. Um, basically, chapter two ish. If the supply depot camp signals the end of a chapter coming up immediately after the thin, that trolley is the end of chapter two. Yeah, yeah. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to fast travel back to those areas as well. I mean, like you said, we should be able to considering that crate that that we're not able to open. Um, you know, we're going to be getting that code from somewhere, somebody. Um, but yeah. Like I said, questions. There are definitely questions as far as when the main game comes out, as far as what's up. But yeah, I mean, you know, definitely kudos to you. Hope it'd be nice if, you know, whatever circumstance you have allows you to possibly get that PlayStation 5 even sooner. But, you know, sometimes they say the best things in life, life are things you have to wait for. So, uh, but yeah, you won't be disappointed. And uh, like I said, uh, whoever's in, you know, if there's anybody else in regard to your uh, waiting for the game, they, uh, hopefully they, they have give you mad props on being patient in, in, in its wait. But uh, that skill set, patience is a virtue, uh, is a... Uh, a very good one to have. Let's go ahead and do another little Abaddon boss battle here. Um, not Abaddon, I mean Stalker boss boss fight. Do not go up those stairs. I I, I <laughs> when I was messing with the uh, the little glitched area, you uh, there's a part in it where you can kind of cross that the top of the parking deck and it will cue the Abaddon boss battle. Uh, but I was like, oh no, it, but I luckily just hit pause and was able to, to just quit the game and I didn't have an issue uh, with it. Um, we'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll break up the diving suits. We'll go ahead and do the, uh, the planet diving. I, this is so sexy. The all black. It's interesting where they decide to want to put lights on these suits. I mean, that one is right above the privates. This one lights are above right where her ovaries would be if she has she has them. This it's still sexy. It's still dope. I mean, you know they. they <laughs> but yeah, the, the game designer, the styling for this, uh, they they definitely enjoyed some liberties with her. Um, in in regard to it all, I mean, look at the, the amount of styling in the private areas. It, I I don't know if I've seen that you think something like quite like that it's like a cod piece but yeah very cool very sexy very stylish indeed you like the red racer suit and the wasteland outfit yeah definitely the waist the the, the, <laughs> the red racer suit a lot of nice undercarriage on that one um uh i think they call it the race race racers high is what they call it and um the um uh, the Wasteland outfit, she is definitely wearing those jeans, I tell you. And, but yeah, they, they did her justice in regard to her look and style. Okay. Focus. I'm about to die. I'm about to die, Mama.
Oh shit. Ooh, I'm trying to shoot you. Stay still. <laughs> oh man. That did not go as planned. Uh, give me a second to check that uh, message I just noticed you, you put up in chat. You gotta focus a good bit here. Oh man, that, that did not work out. Blink, 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 blink. Yeah, that blink ability, I'm telling you, is so different than it is in the main game when you versus when you fight the stalker. You do not need to initiate the cue of it twice. The way you have with the stalker versus the other enemies. And I don't know if that's meant to be the case. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, <laughs> he killed me. Um, he says, so, so you also see that they got a K-pop soloist to promote promo the game. Music video releases in about one day. It's really, ha <laughs> ha. No, I didn't know that. I'm, I'm gonna check that out. That's awesome. I mean, that's smart though. I mean, K-pop is so huge, bro. So it's it. it yeah, I, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. Wouldn't doubt it. I'm already seeing cosplay for this and everything too. Um, yeah, yeah, this is it's, it's going to be hot. Hopefully, the, the K-pop uh, song is is decent, and they're not just trying to capitalize on the situation. Um, but yeah, have have you heard the song? Do you know what what what, what what's up with the song, or is it uh, completely uh, going to be a new thing? Hold on one second. Wait a minute, hang, hang on. Let's see, you said uh, PlayStation Taiwan and PlayStation France have the trailer for the um, for oh, okay for the music video. So so it, the trailer features some of the uh, music and it's uh, it, it seems decent. I'll hang on, I'll, I'll check to see if, what your response is in a second. Need concentration. something different oh you know I did not switch over my gear ah I'm sitting here wondering like why is my beta energy just spiking like that I mean it's great and all but normally do I have protective oh shit repulse shit I have protection gear on rather than the beta because you know I'm still trying to do everything as best I can and sometimes that, that's not always the case Blink, 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 blink. There we go. Man, I just wish I really understood why it's so different with him. And that blink, right? You have to activate it twice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Missed the Q on that because I was trying to heal. He is all over the place.
Ow. Run, girl, run, 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 run. Damn. Dude, you gotta be last minute. Talk about timing when it comes to any of these unblockable attacks. You have to you have to wait to the very last second in order to really effectively dodge them. And, you know, especially when it comes to that ch charge move. Anything, really, that ha comes at you. <sighs> you ha and, and it almost helps to actually stand still. Rather than to try to react to the circumstance before it happens. Where's my rush? There it is. Move out the way! Shit. Health, 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 health. There we go. Woo! Let's, let's see. You said, no, this looks like it's all by shift up. We'll probably get the song in the game somewhere, maybe in the end credits even. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So far, I was really shocked at the soundtrack on this being as good as it is, and, and um, that uh, is, there's no copyright protection. At least I haven't come across anything like that when it comes to broadcasting, which is refreshing. Because um, it's really irritating, as popular as broadcasting is when it comes to these games that, you know, you go to play a game and... You know, you want to maybe enjoy the soundtrack or whatever, the audio, and you've got to mute every aspect of music in it. Um, uh, one nice thing about Marvel Spider-Man 2 is they have a setting in it which disables any of the copyright protected music. Well, it disables any copyright protected music that would harm your channel or interfere with anything. There is a song or two in it. To have copyright, but it's it, you know it's not an issue to use the song, or, or you won't get any violation against your channel, which is good. So yeah, I guess we'll all be surprised when it comes to uh, the K-pop song. But yeah, I tell you, K-pop, they pretty boys. That's what they used to call. Guys, like the way the K-pop guys, uh... Sort of model themselves after. But they, uh... Actually, I'm not even sure. When you say K-pop, was it a boy band K-pop or a girl band K-pop? Or a group? Not band, they don't play instruments. Well, maybe they do. <clears throat> Did you actually state which, uh, which K-pop uh, group it is? Is it a female or male or, or mix of the two? Soloist. Oh, it's a soloist K-pop. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I lost track of what I'm doing here. Okay. Let's get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. You reach him before he reaches the other side of this. You're good on a stealth takedown. But yeah, was it a male or female soloist? Uh, do you recall? Girl, okay. Yeah. Well, with them having a, a, a female protagonist, um, I, that, that would make sense. I, I like I said, to me, it's refreshing in a way for me to play a, a female protagonist because I, um, you know, I, I, you know, being you know hetero uh, cisgender, like I said, it's no no worries either way for whom, however one may identify their their sexuality. I I, t I typically play male characters because of how I relate. Cause I'm, a, I'm a guy and I want to empathize with my character 
and it's it's not as direct with a female character, although you know she's human. Well, in this case with Eve, we we begin to explore her humanity uh, in the game. But anywho, I mean they do they do say in the very title humankind, which is an interesting notion. But yeah, the last time I played a, a female protagonist was a game called Remember Me, and I loved that game, and it, it was really well done. Um, the, the female protagonist was really cool. I, I did try, um, I did try two games with female protagonists. Uh, what was the name of it? Um, uh, gosh, damn, it's, just, it's kind of escaped me running through this and playing this. Um, but. I, di I didn't really get into it past the first first and I had bought the game new and all and this that and the other thing I think I even got a free order copy of one of them, but I just couldn't I couldn't get into it um, and um, And I mean I may revisit the point at some other time because I do own the games uh, as long as they don't do something weird with the digital uh, aspects of them um But yeah, I, I want to, if I can remember the name of it, I'll I'll mention it. But, you know, both of them seem like they're good. I actually enjoy watching other people play the game more so than playing it myself, um, which can be the case at, at some point. Like I remember Dead Space. Like I really was into wanting to play Dead Space, but. I, my, my wife played Dead Space, and I got into her playing it so much, I, I just didn't find the need to play it myself. Whoops, 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 whoops. Well, he didn't see me. Okay, never mind. We got it. Um. But, uh, you know, the look of this game is mad cool. You know, Hideo Kojima gave them a shout out personal visit and autograph on the wall I mean because this game does have some Metal Gear Rising feels to it and um, you know the <clears throat> uh, like I said it's just the graphics it's, 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 it feels like a cinematic experience to be had and um, I the hair physics the hair physics on this, you know, not to mention the jiggle and the wiggle going on, but the hair physics is off the chain. It's phenomenal to me. I mean, it's just gorgeous what they did with her hair. And the fact that the development team, I believe they said they spent them a year. It's totally dedicated on that, I think, for the most part, or our team of people dedicated on just getting the hair physics right with her. I, it, it's just phenomenal. I, 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 that's the reason why I haven't even tried. I didn't even, I haven't even equipped the, the, the short hair. Matter of fact, let me see. Where do you make that selection? I don't even remember where. <laughs> I don't even remember where you make the selection for the short hair. I think it's in, it's in settings. Oh yeah, ponytail length. Here it is. Like I, I this is the first time I've actually selected the short hair ponytail. And I mean, it's nice. But it does not do it as much justice as the long hair, considering the amount of time they spent on working on the hair physics. Now, of course, her body is a little bit more revealed, but then, but you know, her ponytail, long or short, moves out the way, so you'll still get all that extra detail. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, to me, I, I've never played a game that, you know, put that kind of dedication and time into how the hair is going to look and the way it just cascades over her body uh, this, that, that is just that, it, it, art in motion uh, that's how I regard humankind humanity period I mean to me it's very difficult to have an unattractive person and more than likely it's it's their personality uh, that makes them unattractive but yeah I mean poetry in motion that's all I can say that's what's up but um where am i at with the okay i did that let me go back yeah because yeah if you're going back to the beginning on this level here and you know going from start to finish to me you get more odds in regard to its rng uh and getting um 
uh, resources out of these crates. I've seen more, you know, advanced nano um, and nano elements pop out of these crates in the very beginning than I have in any other section in the game. Um, and like I said, it's going to be costly to level up stuff. Costly. So, don't skip out on these crates. Don't skip out on the crates. And these in here, they, they typically give a good amount of gold at the very least. You know, and I'm wondering what these vendors are going to be like in Zion because they take the Vitcoin. Um, and, you know, you need those for the camp. But, I mean, it's not, I don't think it's going to, well, I don't think it's going to require a whole heap load of Vitcoin for these camps that you activate. Um... But yeah, go ahead and give her a little bit of HP from the rest spot. Yeah, and the swimming mechanics in this is just stellar, <laughs> to quote his namesake. But um, yeah, I, I'm not a, a trophy whore, <laughs> as some people may refer to <laughs> the point of always getting a bunch of trophies. That I mean, to me, is a slightly derogative term, but. I mean, I do enjoy getting my trophies, but yeah, it's, um, and I mean, but just with the nature of this game, it's not going to be a chore because you, you'll want to explore everything. You'll want to, uh, get everything, if not just for, you know, what aspects it may reveal about the lore of the game. Um, and, you know, the interview that I saw with the, uh, I forgot exactly what, Hit, hit the person's situation was, was it was it the writer or developer i can't remember what the official title was but one of the main people involved with the concept of the game mentioned the point of the exploration of humanity when it came to eve and i mean what inspired them to go in the direction of of creating this storyline and, and universe of things was like you know what if you know uh you know what's going to be the future of humanity in regard to AI and uh, humankind and uh, I think this is a rather cool futuristic representation of the point but you know it's interesting how people seem to worry about that element I, I, I'm not but it, it you know it, it, it's you know and and, the he and I think for them to have the heavy Christian biblical to biblical tones to it um, hang on, what did you, let's see what you said here. Her hair is best in combat, true. Probably quest board rewards will have Bitcoins, true. Yoko Taro, who's your, oh yes, yes, I believe that's the gentleman's name. Uh-huh, that's right, who was making those comments about this. But yeah, the, the, the Christian undertones to me, I think give somewhat of an answer to this question as well as like the, the, the very um, one of the uh, subtext to um, <clears throat> Stellar Eve is you know they reference this thing of you know humankind and that that in of itself I feel is an answer to any of the question and I mean with the the biblical undertones if you think about what they what the angels or said when God created man or even with how it's referenced in what how man is created is cast in the image of God I mean are not these the sentient aspect of Eve cast in the image of man I mean so unto like itself it you know it's it's just an extension of humanity to be cast in that image so it's 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 just another notion of that it's sort of say an evolution of things um but you know we'll see what they all do i mean i, I it's kind of my own personal opinion about it uh in reference to just the information that's there and the way things present themselves um you know it's you know it's it's hard to remove the human element of what 
even AI is as artificial intelligence as it, it's stated, uh, because oh 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 there uh oh uh oh that's that's weird that's weird yeah that's the thing that's awkward too with this here is that she rotates around the, the target you know when you're pushing forward because she's moving the target's moving and she winds up doing this rotation and the camera does not even though it has auto lock and auto follow the camera the camera moves behind her it trails behind her it doesn't stay fixed behind her so when you're doing a button input to go forward at a certain point if she's rotating around a target you're not it's the game's not respecting your button input for going forward and you don't do the particular move that you're looking to want to do um, that's the reason why I was saying earlier like sometimes when it comes to this blink and repulse you almost want to stand still and then activate it but i'm telling you that doesn't work against abanon or at least what's going on with abanon in the demo because um i thought i could sneak up this thing has a huge peripheral field of view and sneaking up on it you have to be directly behind it but yeah the directional input on this gets a little funky because you have to be quite precise in what you want to do or, you, or certain aspects given the context won't happen and the blink and repulse abilities are, are definitely big ones when it comes to that <clears throat> Yoko, uh, Yoko Taro is the near dev uh huh oh right on yeah 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 I played the demo to near automata that was another one too that I enjoyed watching people play more so than playing it and you know people compare it this to that but the gameplay mechanics of it to me weren't quite like what stellar blade is like i said i've had to switch from a six finger six finger grip on a controller to an eight finger grip and getting another controller to feel competent and or at least to what degree you may see me being competent in the game <clears throat> because um You know, with this combat system, having a, a light and heavy attack uh, mapped to two separate buttons the way they have it. Like a lot of games when it comes to a heavy attack, it's just sometimes a heavier press or a harder press of the light attack. Or, you know, it, it's set up in some aspect of button chaining or, you know, like with Warframe, it, it, it's like you press the... The, you know the r3 and it's just like a single attack aspect versus you know a, a multiple button press uh the way stellar blade is and then on top of that your heavy and light attack is set up um <clears throat> on two separate keypad buttons you know your square and triangle and then you're to be able to move your targeting that's on your your right thumbstick as far as its default setting so you can't target an enemy at the same time while you're tar you're, you're you're fighting or, or pressing your 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 light and they don't even call it that light what do, how do they refer to the basic attack hold on they they, they call it hold on basic combat I, I think they they call it strong attack. I think they call the triangle your strong attack and um, the square your your quick attack. Either way, it's you know light and heavy attack is what most people kind of understand these things to be. Um, but yeah, it for it to be on on two separate keypad uh, you know buttons. And, you know the triangle in the square and then having to be able to you have to uh, actually manually switch your targeting with the right analog stick um is you know it's limiting it's an interesting sort of say handicap that they sort of present you with with the combat now i mean they kind of make up for it a little bit with the arc swings of her weapon she can 
damn near go almost 360 degrees around. It's like 320 degrees or, or 340 degrees, something like that. Um, with her, her, her movements in various different combos, she is swinging from one side of herself completely around to the other. Um, you say you got the rear button attachment for the controller. Uh-huh. I'm used to manipulating camera while pressing face buttons as in Destiny Warrior. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, that should definitely help prepare you for this. And, you know, if, you know, if when it comes to you you, you get to PlayStation 5, keep in mind that, you know, that they've got back paddle uh, options for PlayStation 5. Some of them you have to actually modify the controller. But the other ones out there are exceptionally expensive. I mean, like I said, I, I made a little investment and got the PlayStation Edge. But, you know, it's by the manufacturer. The way they constructed it, you shouldn't have to buy another controller. You know, you might have to go get a module for the thumbsticks if, if some issue of drift comes about. And I went and got it from a retailer, so I have a two-year warranty on top of that. But, um... Yeah, the um, the options for having, you know, more, you know, back paddles for it, you know, can kind of be a little awkward when it comes to modifying your controller. Oh, that's the first time that I saw I had the need to have to do blink twice. You see how it flashed on the weapon twice on her? I'm glad I got this on film. That's the first time I've seen it do that. Because the stalker... I mean, not stalker. Yeah, the stalker. He has me having to do that all the time. I wonder what the context is in my positioning. Because there's got to be a thing of positioning. Uh, either of me or of the enemy or of me and, the en you know, your character and the enemy. Which has that being the case having to actually have to initiate the blink twice and that's something that I mentioned yesterday in my little video about some combat tips is that um, there's people and broadcasters out there that in my opinion kind of regurgitate the same thing over again and uh, or they just sort of go off of whatever description of things are but nobody's mentioning the, the subtleties to the fact that like with this blink there are definite times where you have to initiate the combinate the button combination, which is forward on the analog stick and circle on the keypad on your pad here, um, in order to make that situation happen. I mean, matter of fact, there have been some broadcasters acting like it's super easy, or they're like, "Oh, don't worry, you know, don't panic, uh, just stand still." And I'm like, "Yo, are you really playing this game, man?" I mean, because there's con certain contexts that happen where standing still would just automatically get you fucked up. And I understand the point because I've sort of said it myself, but that's not against the stalker. You stand still with the stalker when you see that blue flash, he is, is the game's going to go, okay, you got grabbed and it's going to get you, um, get you got you actually when you see the blue flash for the blink or the q for the visual q for it you need to start initiating that forward action uh with your analog stick now back works as well but when you get uh the flash for on your weapon to, to initiate the blink you better be pushing forward in circle um now it seems to sort of be a little forgiving when it comes to blink and repulse in that you can, if you if you're in the right position, you can opt out and just hit a, a, a dodge, a, a, a perfect dodge. It will seem to, as long as you have the right distancing for it, it will respect that, and you'll dodge whatever action is being carried out that's asking you to do a blink or repulse, but. You know, I, I don't count on that circumstance. But yeah, there's, there's times where I've accidentally didn't hit the, the right button, uh, a rather directional key for the analog stick to go forward or back. But I got the timing off for the dodge aspect to the uh, blink and repulse. And she just did a perfect dodge. And everything worked out just fine. But, um, 
like I said, I hope that when the main game comes out, uh, you know, I'll be able to determine whether there's some kind of just um, patch that may 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 have been needed in regard to uh, this to the blink. I don't have the issue that I have with repulse that I have with blink, and you know, even still, the repulse in this beginning part of the game. There's no enemies that do anything that require you to uh, do a, a, a repulse move. It's only when you do the stalker boss challenge that that happens. Um, that, you know. Now if you glitch the game and go into the next section, uh, there's enemies that that are there where the uh, repulse ability is needed. I mean, again, not 100% necessary because you can sometimes reposition yourself with enough distance and if you're in the right if you're in a, a the right position and have the right timing a perfect dodge seems to work in evading the circumstance but you it's not a a counterattack uh all rolled into one the repulse gives you a counterattack rolled into the dodge so does the uh repulse and blink both give you a counterattack rolled into that maneuver now if you do a perfect dodge you do have a counter attack ability that you can unlock in the skill tree but um yeah people aren't mentioning these subtleties to the combat like this the camera rotation the following the auto lock aspects um yeah and this and blink and it and as like I said for me the ins inconsistencies in the way you activate it now it, it may be perfectly fine it may be exactly what the developers uh, wanted and it's not any kind of a little bug that might be in a day one patch uh, um, and just whatever issues I'm having could be my my button input aspect of things directional input of things just in situational because of the way I'm moving her in in respect to the enemy because like I said pushing direct uh, in the direction of the enemy once you get close enough to him she just starts to pivot around the enemy uh, or the enemy will start moving in some kind of way and now you're not you know if you're pressing forward on the direction she's not attacking in a forward direction she's now attacking in a side direction and your button inputs for for say a blink ability or a combo isn't going to respect forward anymore because the game's not interpreting what you're doing as being forward um and like i said the camera auto lock takes its time with going behind her uh, Because, you know, you have this third-person field of view, and it's not always necessary for the camera to go behind her. I guess that's what the excuse would be for that. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah. So, like, if I change direction like this, the camera is just ever so slightly behind her body and, and, and the action. It, it You know, it... it, it follows her it doesn't stay behind her i guess that's a good way to articulate the point um but you know again these little sort of issues i don't know issues or just questions i have or concerns in regard to just getting used to the combat system it's nothing that obviously deterred me from it um and uh you know it you know i'm willing to get used to the nature of it But yeah, I mean, like I said, it's, I guess it's their part of the way of just creating something unique for, um, you know, their title versus, say, copying or mimicking other combat systems. But yeah, I... I couldn't move that way against the enemy before and attack that way without mapping my buttons and um, 
That, that was very helpful. But yeah, we'll do a, another stalker fight once I complete this run of the, the grind. Um, you know, I'll do the full run and then do my little backtrack to the last part. Ah. Yeah, hate missing the timing for that one. Kind of painful. Let me see. There's something else I was thinking. Did I talk about it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I covered those points. Okay. Let me see. Here, looks like I want to check something on that trophy list thing again. Um. Yeah, the rest of the stuff that's on the trophy list, it's all kind of standard stuff, man. I mean, I hope people won't be regarding it as spoilers because it's, you know, defeat a certain amount of enemies, collect a certain amount of goods, you know, level up your character. Those are all gizmies, you know, as far as most games, if not all games, with concern when it comes to games like this and gaining a trophy. It's all very straightforward. And definitely easy to accomplish or not easy rather but but it's, it shouldn't be a problem for folks that just put some time into it to accomplish it accomplish it because you know definitely nothing's locked behind a difficulty mode um, <clears throat> and I mean it, it, I think they should actually try to do a combination of difficulty mode and trophy for for people out there that really need the difficulty trophy um you know it, it's like okay have a difficulty mode trophy but just don't tie it to to having it the game be platinum it's just an addendum to the trophies like several games can be like that way like you'll have um, a trophy list of stuff then they'll add something later and it's not tied to having the platinum trophy for the game um i think spider-man 2 marvel spider-man 2 is like this um like you could be because um new game plus came out <clears throat> it opened up uh or rather when new game plus came out is when they offered a platinum trophy i mean not platinum but a trophy for for um, the ultimate difficulty mode and when the first game, game came out yeah you had ult ultimate difficulty but there was no trophy uh, in relationship to it so you know to me they could still create a di more difficult a higher difficulty level for stellar blade and even provide a trophy for it without it um you know hindering people's ability to accomplish a platinum for the game and i said like i said again i i, I just to keep games friendly for everybody's skill set to me it's not i don't i i don't think it's necessary to, to tie a game's difficulty to getting a platinum i mean for those that want to see that accomplishment in their trophy list, yeah, definitely give them a, a gold trophy. You know what I mean? Um, and you know, and every, you know, to me, that satisfies everybody's, uh, you know, desires. Or, or, or and will I get this? Will I get it? Nope. I'll tell you this thing sometimes can be a bit of a pain to sneak up on. And it's hard, really hard to tell what direction it's facing. But, uh, yeah. I think it's, what, nine days left till the game comes out? <laughs> nine, nine days can't pass fast enough. But, in a way, 
I'm kind of glad I do have that time because, um, at, you know, with this skill tree, I want to have enough skill points to um, not only max out uh, the beta tree here. Is, you know, as you get further into the skill tree, once you get past level three, and each level costs uh, an additional skill point, when it branches off to the side, each skill is now five, you know, four points and then five points. Um, and, you know, just a little rough calculation on these nodes here, which are locked behind progression. Um, and that's another reason why I think they're going to start you. They may start you in a new game. From your last game save or the Avanon boss battle because of this skill tree progression. It may be tied to, you know, the story progress and to help honor your trophies as well as not mess with the game's, the programming logic and this, this skill tree progression within it. Um, they may just start you with your last game save. But yeah, it, it's going to be additional 20 skill points, it looks like. To actually max out this skill tree and though you do get more skill points um, for the you know harder enemies it's not that much more and unless you kind of start doing grinding at some point in the game I feel like they kind of set it up for you to grind certain sections or, or various different points in the game 9 out of 10 in order to really get all of the, the skills Unlock because that's another trophy uh, too. unlocking the whole entire skill tree So obviously it's going to take a degree of effort in order to do that versus just running through the game um, You know and I mean most likely you probably don't need all of the skills either in order to uh, complete the game um, I mean, you know, I, you know, I think that's part of the whole point of view. like I said validating the trophy making it worth something to accomplish is that you're going to have to put in some effort to actually max out the, the skills ah. not doing what I'm oh no what I'm thinking of wanting to do That was overkill. Um, so yeah, it's uh, definitely you know okay that I've got we got another additional nine days before Stellar Blade comes out because then I can continue to grind out some more XP and um, or SP. I mean, because SN because the game doesn't even really call it. XP like skill points they call it SP you can see in the top right hand corner next to the number three of this skill points that I have the number of skill points it says SP uh, so they're going straight literal to the point of skill points versus experience points but to me those, those two terms are interchangeable because um, it, yeah it, it, they gotta be you know because what's funny is when the if you if pause the video and back it up for a second when she just um, took down the enemy it literally said SP EXP skill point experience points so yeah they, they have both terms in the game Enemies hit hard. Yeah, and I, for some odd reason, playing the demo, it didn't even occur to me that she's going to wind up getting more health in the game. But yeah, that's all. That's generally another thing that you know they allow your characters to do is just get more health, become more durable throughout the gameplay. But yeah, that's another trophy to accomplish. Um, level up your health. Okay, I, I think. Okay, we went back. Back down. I, I was talking. I'm trying to remember exactly what I did as far as my grind. But yeah, we're, I think we're good to go ahead and do another Stalker boss fight. Oh, let me check a look at this skill tree real quick. I think. Uh, what, what 
was I thinking of leveling up? Um, see, damage boost two additionally increases the attack power of Shield Breaker. Oh, hang on for a second. Check this chat. Uh, yeah, Kinsu, you said, um, don't forget the quest board could also give XP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent point to bring up on the whole quest board because, um, you know, that's that's part of the side content. And they said there's like, what, 25 hours <laughs> worth of side content? I mean, basically, it's double the game. Um, I, I think they stated that it was going to be like, um, uh, you know, 25, 30 hours for the main game campaign and like 20, 25 hours or something weird like that for the, uh, for the side content. Yeah, the quest boards for sure. That's going to be a huge thing. I mean, uh, to go ahead and do. And, and I'm kind of curious as to how, I, I did read that they stated that, that the quests have a lot to do with, you know, repairing the city of Zion, uh, Zion, um, and, uh, you know, adding to the, um, I guess, legend or, and, uh, notoriety, I, I, you know, of, of Eve, you know, being somewhat regarded like heaven sent, so to speak, um, but I'm wondering just how much the quest board and the stories were in, in regard to it and the side quests, how, how dependent they are on the main story campaign, like, you know, and, and what's going on. Like certain side quests and games, um, you know, tie into the main story or present themselves in a way where you're like, and if I do this after I complete the main story, it's going to kind of hurt my immersion in the game because it kind of is within some kind of time frame between or or, or, um, or after some part in the game. But of course, before the ending, whereas it like it doesn't make sense, like after you beat the main story to go back and do that side quest. Or, it, like I said, just kind of hurts your immersion. I hope that they kind of have the side quest set up, to be honest with you, in a way that it doesn't take away from your immersion if you want to run through the main campaign and then do the side quest. Um, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Um, let's see, what was I going to see? First strike of triplet impact enhancement. First strike of triplet also stuns the hit enemy. A increase the attack. Okay. Damages the balance of enemy hit with quadruplet. I will go with this stun. We'll go with the stun. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, there's going to be a, a lot of good time to enjoy when it comes to the main game when it comes out. Um, and I definitely, for one, I'm going to, oh, let me save this real quick. Take my time. Um, you know, I'm running around in this <laughs> because it's just the grind, you know. But when I when I first started playing this and even when I encounter the, the new area it, that I did the little glitch through. Um, and I'm thinking I, I did preserve some of that gameplay footage. I may do a little, like, montage of it. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not sure how I'll, I'll think about it and maybe just a little short little video I might upload but either way I was walking around you know more so than running um, because I mean just like I said the visuals of the game just soaking up the, you know the ambiance uh, uh, and you know and Eve you know going through these environments it, it to me it, you're just sort of missing out on a lot running around um, and uh you know, as well as the point you don't want to miss, you know, the, the so-called little hidden areas that may be in it um, as far as, you know, further exploration of the game. Got that Wasteland Adventure outfit here. That's up. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, we'll see how it goes. Wasteland Adventurer. It's interesting. This bonus beta energy recharge actually kind of worked out during that last gameplay. 
Um, I did take a lot of damage though. We'll go with we we'll go with what I what I knew. We we'll can go without the glasses this time. And uh, but yeah, this waistline outfit, uh, you know, you brought that up, Kinsu. Uh, it is uh, it's definitely fly. It definitely looks good. Definitely looks good. I kind of, even though they give her the, like the stiletto look or the high heels for, for various different outfits, I kind of wish that they went with the no heel look for all of them. Um, you know, this no heel, let me see if, it's kind of hard to see in this screen. But like this outfit here, you know, you can see it has the heel. Even though it's well designed, it's almost like a stiletto type heel. Um, and, you know, they did that for uh, the Wastelander outfit. I love the lights on it. I mean, the styling of it is, is, is sweet. Um, but this no heel uh, platform type shoe, I'm not sure how you would, how, how, would, how you describe it. Um, like it's it's on the it's on her skin suit, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, this no heel look is almost like a hoof. That that is just fat. That is just dope. But it is definitely stiletto inclined um, in regard to its it, to the way it lifts her heel. Um, and you know the planet diving suit has that as well. And uh, I love the fact that they actually came out with some different designs for it. And also to the um, the seventh generation or the second generation uh, diving suit, planet diving suit has it as well. It's, even, it's designed even differently than the others. Um, but it's like she's basically standing on her tippy toes. That is just crazy. That's dope. But nevertheless, though, the... Um, I, I, I like this one, this outfit too. Very cool. Very cool. But yeah, they got to wear them jeans for sure. Make sure I got my equipment set up right. Okay, protection, protection, protection. Give me the protection. But yeah, got the little lights on the uh, side of the hip. Got some midriff going on. Got some dangly bits from the from the bolero style jacket sweet it's hiding Let's see what we can do what 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 is up with my dodge today Decisions there. I keep forgetting about this gun. I wish that to auto the targeting lock didn't do what it does. Whoa, 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 whoa. Am I far enough away? Okay. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. What do you want to do? What do you want to do?
Mm. I feel like I'm just really off time with my dodge today. I don't get that. I mean, I, like I said, I did make some adjustments trying to improve the notions of latency, so maybe... Woo! Woo! He was trying to get something. I've been playing a lot. Maybe I'm just having some, some button fatigue. Doesn't feel that way. There we go. Love the style. Watch her back arch. Oh, that is sweet. Take it home. Yeah. Fantastic finish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Likes it, likes it a lot. Yeah, we'll do another couple of runs on the grind and then we'll um, do the last outfit on the boss challenge. And, uh, might 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 do one more favorite uh let let me know there man uh kensu if you want to i'll do i want to do one boss fight with the planet diving suit uh, seventh generation but um i feel like i want to conclude it with one of those favorites uh you know either the um uh the waste wasteland suit that i just did outfit or the uh the uh, racers high I'm feeling the race is high. What do you think? You, you, you want to see that race is high again on the uh, final boss fight uh, that I do for the broadcast today? I don't know, I'm not sure if you're still in the chat there, Kinsu. Okay. All right. Race is high it is. All right. Definitely. Definitely. We'll, we'll make that the last one for sure. But yeah, I, I, I agree with your taste there. Now I'm not. I don't know if I'm brave enough to try the skin suit. I'm. I'm. I'm wondering if I should give it a shot just for shits and giggles. But yeah, I'm. I'm <laughs> you don't have no shield with this skin suit, and I'm not. I don't know if I'm. I'm good enough. <laughs> oh man, this could probably be just a slaughter. Stark can be like, oh, oh, you decided to go that route. Oh, oh, left it all exposed for me. Thank you. Ugh. But yeah. Um, but I mean, you know, despite the revealing nature of the skin suit, I really like the design of it. I mean, honestly, and I mean, you can tell the fact that it's not her skin. I mean, there's a difference in the skin tone of the suit, but the design of this is just awesome. You know, especially with the whole ex, um, this whole spine thing exposed on the back. That is so cool. That is just so cool. Go through the gate. Let's take our time. There we go. But yeah, I, I've seen some footage of some of the other um, outfits for Eve. And, um, but, you know, they claim to have like 30 or 34. Well, the trophies talk about, I think, 30 outfits to uh, unlocking to, to accomplish that trophy. Um but I thought I heard something about there being 34 outfits in the game. Um, and, and I mean, we probably include the skin suit as one and the seventh generation suit as two. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Th all right. So there's 34 suits in the game to unlock and the other two suits. So you got <clears throat> 30 suits to unlock. You have the skin suit. That makes 31. You have the seventh generation 
diving suit that makes 32 you have the pre-order suit making 33 and you have the pre-order i mean the deluxe edition suit making 34 i bet i bet you that's 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 how you tally up the 34 suits and then they're talking about having potentially some future uh content suits beyond that yeah i mean success success all the way around um but so far from what i've seen i don't know man the uh that racer's high might be one of my favorite the, Woo! besides this skin suit and um but i'm definitely going to support the uh pre-order not pre-order um the uh the deluxe edition suit as well that that definitely looks pretty sexy but um like i said I, i'm really curious to see just what the other suits are going to look like in game because i mean though they look oh i don't need to do that oh i can do that hold up uh <clears throat> because you know the images I've seen and, and some of the uh, you know clips of it in, of some of the other outfits in action they you know they look cool grant you but I don't know I, I wasn't necessarily overly impressed with them um, and probably just because of the limited view that you might have of them and not really seeing them in game but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm eager to see what's up with these outfits and uh but yeah people i don't know how much they they're realizing or paying attention um the resources we get the materials right here uh extreme polymer material advanced polymer material and polymer material uh used as crafting material for nano suits that's the other good point as far as this grind that i'm going through because i want those suits when i get the blueprint form or however they may reference it the uh the schematics or what have you I want to have the materials to get those suits on and let me tell you they're not I did not I don't think it's going to be cheap because these different levels to uh, level two level three what have you as you get higher level outfits and gear it's expensive uh, like I said I had a little little sneak peek you know going through that um, glitched area you know but you had a had a construction of some stuff, but yeah, it's, it's not gonna be cheap. So yeah, between now and the next nine days, continuing to uh, gain the muscle memory for this eight fin eight finger grip I got going on with this new controller. Um, I'm going to. Uh, you know definitely get my resources up more and hopefully have i, I want to complete of course that this skill tree which one is it here mm -hmm. the beta skill tree of course and i definitely want to have the 20 skill points to make sure i can unlock these when they come about but like i said sneaking a sneak peek into that little um glitch there uh, the next section beyond this and it, noticing the amount of skill points I was getting um, <clears throat> it's you know like it's going to be worth the trophy to, to max out your skill trees and there's an additional two skill trees that you know theoretically we kind of have an idea of what's up with them so we have one and we have two i'm thinking that one's going to be for the um uh gosh what's the name of that thing that the, i want to call it a rover the robot that follows you around that's not the proper name for it so forgive me and the um also this other skill tree i believe is going to be for a particular point of concern for but with regard to button remapping the burst skill the r1 is used for your burst skill and it's going to be from what i've looked into is similar to your beta skill so you you hold that button down 
and then press the square X circle triangle to initiate it. So you can have your guard up. It's similar to way when when I have my guard up, the uh, beta skill tree pops up. If I hit R1, uh, that's probably going to trigger the burst skill tree to reveal itself. That's the reason why I map my R1 button where my L2 button used to be. Um, having, you know, my square, my light attack square button on my R1 and my strong attack, heavy attack on my R2. But <clears throat> because I have the back pads, pads, um, what am I doing? Um, when I, I'm using my, my back paddles at the 212 I have for this edge controller, my left is my L2 and my right underneath the uh, controller is the R2, uh, yeah, R2. So I can hold the L2 down and, and press the R2 fairly, fairly well, uh, with it set up like that. And um, the way the weapons work in Stellar Blade, you, you just no need for like rapid button inputs or, uh, or trigger inputs because you just hold uh, the button down for the weapon and it just, it will fire, you know, when you hold aim and then you hold your weapon button, your, what they call it, ranged weapon, uh, it, it will fire at a constant rate or as fast as it's going to fire regardless of how many times you press the button and you know there's been some images and footage out there you know hopefully this isn't considered a spoiler but you've got some kind of energy weapon or you have an energy option for a uh, beam of some sort and that looks like it's a sustained fire thing you just hold the button down and let it do what it's going to do uh, so have my buttons mapped this way should not be a problem but you know if one is considering remapping buttons definitely take into consideration the point of the uh burst skill tree and what that's going to do and how you may need to access those buttons um and the fact that the skill tree have button inputs that require simultaneous input um like the circle and triangle that i referenced earlier Yeah, uh, we'll do this little loop. I'll do my little reset the way I, I typically do, and then run it again. Oh, oh, that's not polite. Yeah, I've I've never seen a situation where I can ambush these things when they're in hiding like that. And I mean, if you're not blocking or just move, ah, oh gosh, out of the way. They, um, it's an automatic hit with them. I mean, like, I, I, they react, that movement is horrifically fast. And it, it just seems like a guaranteed hit. But yeah, I can't get enough of these animations of her doing her thing. I don't I don't know if it's gonna get old. But yeah, man, I, I it's funny watching some other some various different individuals do their little grind with this game and they and they just run right past the Oh man, that that's a poor choice. <laughs> they run right past the crates. I'm like, the resources, the resources. You don't know how much you're going to need them. And this crate right here, everybody runs past that one. And I just got a, a, a random drop from that right there I mean it's rare, very rare that you're going to get something from it but don't pass it up 
Don't pass it up. I got some polymer. Need that for the suits. Outfits. Outfits. Gonna need it for the outfits. <laughs> and speaking of which, I remember I hearing somebody comment about the skin suit. They were like, it should be super hard, super difficult, super challenging to wear the skin suit in the game. Like, come on, man. Don't. It's already bad enough the fact you don't have shields. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay to enjoy this. It's okay. Because it requires a degree of skill uh, to handle the circumstances with no shields. That's, I mean, to me, I mean, it, it doesn't need to be any worse than that. Um, as it is, I, I, I'm hesitant about what... <clears throat> having enough capability to engage the stalker with this outfit on. I might just drive for shits and giggles between, you know, doing the racers. Um, but due to, like I said, we're going to do the seventh, the seventh generation diving suit. And then we'll, you know, like I said, we're going to conclude with the uh racers high but in between that maybe do the um try a, a attempt with the skin suit and see just how hilarious that's going to be you never know i might surprise myself i don't think so <laughs> this is stalker don't play Well, it really looks like I know what I'm doing, don't it? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, like I said, I'm, I'm really putting in a good effort to tr try to know what I'm doing and when to do it. Um, uh, posing. Oh, he turned around. Okay. Like I said, there's more there's a more consistent RNG when it comes to the XP that you get from stealth takedowns versus engaging oh shit engaging with them in combat um, you know you get anywhere from 23% to uh, 20 I've seen as high as 28% at times with the enemies um, and see, that stealth takedown on that enemy gave me 7 XP. These little things typically only give you 1. Okay, that just gave me 5. Alright. Um, that's the first time I noticed the... I didn't mention that in my video. That's the first time I noticed the crawlers giving something like that on the XP. I, I, I think I may have just assumed that it was always 1. That's right, I don't need to go up there to do this. Or do I? Yeah, that's right. You can kind of walk up behind him the way he's facing. But yeah, if you want to reset, just slip down back up here. Oh, both of them came over? Wow, that's the first time I've seen that happen. Oh, he all upset. Yeah, I love that chain combination. What happened to the crate? Whoa, look at it. They do have some funky physics when it comes to the crates and the furniture. Like, it is just like paper, paper. It's like paper when it floats around. I, I, I kind of wish they would have spent a little bit more time with the physics when it came to that. Because, like, I've seen, I saw this little, I think, a short on the, the the table glitching into her Eve's head or her body um, and they just they just seem like paper they just kind of flop around like paper but it's okay it's not a huge issue I'm not gonna hate on the circumstance because of something like that
yeah another thing too is like having the control of what you're doing in the combinations and the button pressing whereas you know when the enemy when you deliver that final blow to or, or the blow to defeat the enemy always like not having a whole bunch of other movements or you know attacks after the enemy is actually dead defeated it's like okay yeah i know i knew that the enemy was going to be defeated with that and i'm not just button pressing um i mean sometimes depending on oh hoo, 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 that was all kinds of wrong on my approach um I could have went better. Do I get it? Do I get it? Do I get it? This bastard. Come on, come on, come on. Shit. Damn. The peripheral view. View of that thing, man. Okay, we're we are not doing well with this. One. All right, wasn't sure when it was gonna die, but yeah, we got it. Yeah, they they can be they can be a handful. No other enemy in the game so far has the vision of those hydras. I kind of wish we could have different mu music during the gameplay. Um, in the various different levels like this particular song is cool and all but man like after a while it's like oh what? i didn't need to do that Ugh. i didn't need to do that whatever um you know it can, it's like all it's the only thing in my head <laughs> it's that song Now you can let me see if I can do it. It's not that easy. Get the get it, get on, we can get it, we can get it. There it is. <clears throat> yeah, you don't necessarily have to stop your momentum, but you definitely have to as far as getting a stealth takedown for that enemy, but you have got to make sure you have the right angle of approach. Because despite the fact that they're like they're nearsighted in a way that they don't see things far away very well. Uh, unlike the Hydra. Oh, it's the wrong one. Oh, really? I hit the wrong one. Um. See? I went forward, and she decided to pivot around the enemy. And it did not respect the fact that she was... I, I'm pressing... I'm, I was pressing forward towards the enemy. That... I'm not... Sh not sure how to really overcome that outside of sort of just standing still maybe I could maybe do a, a slower approach like don't press forward like I want to run but kind of give it a forward motion and when it's time to press the button then then give it the effort and maybe then I'm not rotating around the enemy But, yeah. Because, I mean, you could obviously clearly see me animating her to um, go forward in order to, you know, because it's forward in circle for the, for the blink. And uh, she just started going off to the side of the enemy. It will go up, do a save, and then ah, oh man, it's 
just so frustrating that she does. I mean, she, it's like I'm, I, you saw me go forward and she just goes off to the side of him. Like, I'm pushing forward right now and it's, there's nothing I can do to keep her from not going off to the side of the enemy. Just pivoting around the enemy like that. And that is not what I'm trying to do. That, and it's like with her having so many forward um, inputs to her movements... And like I said, the movements having, you know, the combinations of things being very purposeful in that forward motion. But yet the game not respecting the fact that you're going forward once you go off to the side of the enemy. Like, and I'm, I'm, I actually, believe it or not, I'm actually trying to adjust to the fact that she is now in a sideways position. So I'm, I, sometimes I, I'm pressing sideways to hopefully get the game to go, okay. He's doing what he needs to do correctly um, for the particular move to take place, but nah, 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 nah. So yeah, that's uh, hopefully I can work out that nuance. Um, and you know, who who knows? Maybe that's something that is a little unplanned. And they actually do something in regard to patching it, whereas when you're Come up to the enemy. See, <laughs> and you notice the enemy's moving too. And I mean, you know, it's like I'm, I'm pushing forward, and she's just bounding herself all around the enemy. And like, what? That's uh, God. That's frustrating. Cause you know the move ain't gonna happen. You know, I, I'll luck up maybe and not get hit. Or grabbed or whatever, but she's not gonna blink. Um, a lot of times with the stalker circumstance, there's enough distance uh, so that she's not rotating around the stalker. <clears throat> so in the process of pushing forward, and then also to having to, to execute the whole blink move twice, um, <clears throat> there was there's no real issue. Uh, you know about it respecting my button input or commands rather so yeah let me see something yeah and see oh, I didn't mean to activate that <clears throat> now when you're fighting the enemy Maybe I need to take the... See, there it is again. I'm wondering if when I've got my guard up and I go to push forward, maybe I need to try to see if I can dis you know, just have her walking forward and not running forward. Maybe that might help keep her from going too far forward and wanting to rotate around the enemy. I'm going to have to try to work on that. I like that counter, man. Or follow up. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's a uh, follow up of, of the parry for a parry counter. It's a counter attack with the, with the parry what that is uh, okay so yeah so we reset this real quick do this swing back up to to the parking um, tower and then we go do seventh generation planet diving suit Well, they just, they, they've never seem to miss a cue or a point for the sensual and the sexy with her. It's like, yeah, she's sliding down a ladder, but, you know, she's not just sliding down a ladder. Ah, I should have been more patient and waited.
but it's always kind of good to get some practice in with these anyway. And also too, they do the uh, See, I just disengaged the, the whole L3 as far as her run. So if it does the whole thing to make for the blink, hopefully I'm not going too fast, too forward. If it does it. Oh, ah. <laughs> I should I should just wait. Um <clears throat> But yeah, like you know, when I get to attacking these enemies, just disengage the run because the run seems to stay a thing. Gotta try to figure out a way to compensate for what this game is doing to me. What are you doing to me? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's an man. Missed me. Go, on, go back to your idol. Let me get my stealth XP, please. Pretty please. You still got your ears on there, Kensu. Is there anything else that... Uh, comes to mind that you might want to discuss on the trophies or is there anything in particular you're looking forward to uh, when it comes to Stellar Blade you said this is still the first area for the variety check the record player Yes, the yeah. When you when I change the record player up at the camp, it changes the music at the camp, but it doesn't change the music in the in the environment. Um, not that I've noticed. Uh, it'd be nice if, if it'd be nice if that's something that you know either you can earn to get do or. <clears throat> It maybe it's just something I'm missing. You said more of the behind the scenes videos would be nice. You seen the first one? Uh, I'm not sure if I have or not. I mean, well, you mean like behind the scenes as far as like the devs and the creators at the studio, and um, you know, just some of the the talking points that they brought up. I've seen some of that, but. And I've seen some of the, um, like the mocap that they were doing of the young lady who um, was the inspiration for Eve that they that they modeled her body from. Uh, I'm not sure if what I saw was considered behind the scenes. I guess it was considered behind the scenes, but I don't know. Whether it was the first or last one, or, or that particular aspect of an order to, um, how many skill points do I have? Uh, of the, or not? Okay. If we take some effort to get these skill points, which one were you um, were you thinking on? You said the first one on the PlayStation Channel. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure, but I'll 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 take a look um, after we're done with the broadcast to make sure that I did see it. Uh, you mean where they were actually? There was one I think 
you mean you talked about the PlayStation one where they went to their uh, the main studio in Korea and um, you know you got to see some of the models the clay models in in the uh, showcase they did show an, a uh, a behind the scenes of the individuals who created the you know the clay models of the enemy types um, in the game that they you know rendered digitally and all the just phenomenal artistic skill involved with all that um i did see that one. Oh yeah that's the one you were referencing yeah 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 it was good it was good really good really good um but i i mean they're so right i mean to me that's the way to go to get i mean to me the one of the the better renderings of um this shit is fly this outfit is really fly with the wings and everything better renderings when it comes to cgi and ai renderings of things is to have some type of real world model in which you're now mapping that cgi and ai too um you know in movies when you know some of the better cgi is where they actually have a live model of something that they've now mapped on you know mapped the cgi too um but just to do pure cgi with no real world model to it it just it, it's never looked good ever looked good um and i mean they did that for her outfits too as well as you know the real person for her oh i didn't switch my protective gear whatever i might be all right it's funny how when you're you, you're holding block her body jiggles as you move man it's hilarious um Uh, but ah, uh, poor choice again. Poor choice of actions on my behalf. Poor choice of action. What? That didn't interrupt that? What? What? <clears throat> I'm back. Oh, 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 There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. But yeah, he's so big. She doesn't ever really completely go around him the way... I wind up doing in the enemies in the game but you can see how trying to press forward she was actually going to the side of him to a degree but it wasn't enough for the game to go oh, okay you're not pressing forward to uh, respect the input Ooh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, I do not know what the timing is to actually dodge that unblockable attack. Ooh, that's not good. There it is, there, there it is again. Double blink, there we go, we got it. thing girl let's do it that's not the way to do it I forgot about this have some of that 
<laughs> Love the pose. Do it. Fantastic finish. She even got a little serious look on her face. <laughs> We're gonna try this uh, seventh. I would try this skin suit for a second for just shits and giggles. We'll see what happens. And like I said, we're gonna conclude it with this razor's high. Mm, 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 mm. They knew what they was doing. They knew what they was doing when they did this. They knew what they was doing. Oh, look at the hair. Yeah. So let's see. We're gonna go with. Skin suit. <laughs> ah, this is gonna be great. Uh, we wanna do some glasses too. I don't know. They were silver. I, I think we go with the glasses. We think Kensu, should we do some glasses with the skin suit or should we no glasses? We got the earrings going on. Glasses and no glasses. I'm not sure if I'm feeling the glasses necessarily, but I, I we'll make a viewer's choice. <laughs> and hopefully she doesn't die wearing them. <laughs> glasses, okay, we'll go with the glasses, sure thing. But yeah, they do have some extra cosmetics, which looks nice with the pre-order and, and the bonus edition as well. Um, for, uh, oh, where are the glasses at? I thought I selected them. There we go. Um, some pretty cool style, frame styles. Yeah, she looks cute with the glasses. That works. We don't always want to see you from behind. We like watching you from the front, too. Good, good. Oh my, yeah. ah, this is the first time I've actually played this scene, this cinematic with her in the skin suit. Tay. Did not skip a beat. Oh, okay. Let's see what we can do. Get it together, get it together. Oh, I don't need to take too many of that. Whoa, 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 buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Again, I do not know what the timing is for that for nothing. Blink, 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 blink. Shit. There it is again. Whoa! Double blink? What the heck? Bro! Yet. Blink girl got it. Yes. Ah, 
I should have just blocked. I don't know. I don't even know if they're, they're unblockable, so they probably wouldn't did any good either. <sighs> sweating, sweating. Ha ha ha! Blink, 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 Oh no, 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 heal, heal, get up, get up, get up, heal, 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 heal. Oh, did I just do it? Did I just do it? Did I just do it? And we got it on film. Skin suit. Skin suit. Skin suit. And the glasses. I can't. I, I, I'm, I'm shocked. Dude. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Oh, this is nice. Oh, do it, girl. Oh, oh, Eve. 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 We did it, Kinsu. In the skin suit. Fantastic finish. Oh, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, in the skin suit. I am shocked at myself. Woo! Woo! Sweating, heart racing. Woo hoo hoo! Woo hoo hoo! <laughs> All right. Man, okay. We did it. So we're going with the glasses again for the uh, races high, or are we uh, no glasses? What do you think? Man, that was intense. Oh, man. So, what do you think there, Kinsu? Uh, glasses or no glasses? They do go well with the outfit, though. Yeah, glasses good? All right, definitely. We make it happen. Man, that is... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's give it a slow pan. The gloves too. That is fly. I almost kind of want that. I wish they kind of gave her um, a little exo spine underneath the uh, the suit. But I mean, I'm not complaining at all, at all, at all. The heel design. That is just that is just sweet. It is kind of cute how they made her a little knock knee. I, I, I'm guessing maybe the, the uh, real individual it may be a little knock knee. It's cute. <laughs> Got a little hoodie on the jacket. Propulse shoot. Oh man, he does that so real. I was late. I saw it, was a little late. Ooh. 
Okay, he's far enough away. Ooh, boy. Man, I wish I could figure out the timing for that. I'm like, I'm just somewhat clueless about that. One. But I know 9 out of 10, whatever it is, it's, the, it's considered the last second because that's how they like to do you with any of these things on the unblockable dodges. Has to be at the last second. And you can actually can dodge that, but again, I'm not really sure what the timing is for that one either, but I have done it before. There we go. We got it. We got it. Oh man, we did it. We did it. Fantastic finish. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Very nice. <sighs> well, Kinsu, I tell you, I want to thank you very much for joining in on the chat and viewing, sticking along with me during this uh, grind and trophy chat talk. Um, and definitely, uh, I, I really did enjoy your, your comments and, and uh, things you were sharing with me. And thank you for your helpful suggestions on the, on the outfits for the boss uh, challenges. Uh, we're going to go ahead and close it out here on the broadcast. Let me take a look at something real quick. I don't, like I said, changing the music just seems to only change it in camp. Let me just walk out here for a second. Yeah, it, it doesn't affect the rest of the game. It's just only in camp. But at least we do have the option to enjoy the various different soundtracks that, that the game has to offer. But yes. Again, Kinsu, thank you for viewing. Thank you. Thank everyone for coming through and enjoying the, the show. Uh, this is what did you what did you do? What did you think? What did you enjoy? And I will see you all. In, oh, I'll be back in the next episode. Take care and enjoy. <laughs>